Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory go to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Kakwadash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai is the name of His Son, whom the world in ignorance call God and Jesus Christ. The Rakakwadash is the Holy Spirit. Double honor unto the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, that rule well, and that taught us this truth, among many other things. And Salute told, told us to say, Achim out there, they be doing the work, man, and that I have faith in Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai. You know? So, um, I want to just start off by, um, I was meditating upon certain things. Oh, basically, I was, if I'm, if I really uh, go back to the to the beginning, the thing that caused me to meditate was, uh, you know, I was listening to music and and um, and a voice memo of a, of a brother popped up and uh, you know was in, in in my playlist, <laughs> so I listened to it um, again. And uh, it's always good to uh, uh, listen to advice, you know, because it might not be for you, but yet it could be for you because advice is, uh, is like timeless. You can always use it to meditate upon certain situations and how to um, stay out of trouble, how to stay uh, in the spirit and, you know, just keep on pushing, man. So... The thing that I wanted to focus on now is um, certain things happen unto our, unto our people because we are under these devils, you know, uh, the, the, both the so-called Negroes, Latinos, uh, and the Native Americans, you know, what was it here? The Northern and the Southern tri tribe are oppressed under this de these devils, man. You know, we're both in the hands of these 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 demons, and they are not over us because we did a good job in the eyes of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. We went against the Heavenly Father, and that's why we are, you know, on the guys that look like this, uh, you know, which this is a scar for a uh, so-called Bible expert, which, uh, but yeah, you know, he represents the devils, man. This is uh, that Bible expert that went uh, against us was was talking uh, all types of nonsense. But he's just a devil, so that he's doing his job. You know, the devil is a deceiver, one that goes against the heavenly Father and that is slandering and is lying, man, and chooses to side with Satan, man. So he's doing doing his job. About uh, let me see. Uh, I wanted to um. Let me just jump in it, man. I wanted to uh, go to the scriptures and go into this in Pro uh, Proverbs 15, verse 22, um, concerning counsel, concerning uh, advice, because you don't have brothers in the spirit next to you for nothing. And just like we go on the highways and hedges and make videos to give advice you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, through the scriptures, the same thing needs to be uh, applied. This that same like uh, mindset of you know, you know that we go out there through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. So when we speak to others through the spirit, brothers that speak out there in the in, you know during camp also can speak to you in the spirit. So that's also something that you need to keep in the back of your mind when a brother gives you advice that it is the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai and not just the brother that is uh, out there to uh, bash you and to uh, bust your balls, as they say in uh, in these uh, so-called Italian mob movies, you know. He's giving that advice to get you out of a jam. And that's what Jake needs to be doing. Stop being stubborn and, um, you know, all, all filled with pride or just think, Oh, I can do this by myself. No, man. Certain things, you have to have help. That is also a way how the Heavenly Father can strengthen the bond between, uh, you know, between uh, the brotherhood, man. Between brothers in the brotherhood, you know. Because if you help each other out, you grow in, 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 towards each other. Because you get um, certain inf information and you might get comfort because another brother went to the same thing. You know. So if you have someone that you feel comfortable with uh, that's around you, you can speak to him 
you don't have to speak to everyone if you don't feel comfortable concerning, uh, you know, uh, you know, speaking about your situation. Because everyone has his uh, things, man. We all have our things. We all, we went through them. You know, we, we might not have the same, exact same uh, things that we are uh, struggling with. But many brothers went through certain things. It's also for experience, man. If you go to certain things, you, you, you become a better judge. You can uh, discern things uh, quicker so that you can help others also, man. And also yourself, of course, to um, prevent that you, that you will end up in the same situation as before. So Proverbs 15 and 22, without counsel, purposes are disappointed, but in the multitude of counselors, they are established. And... I was um, like meditating upon like the apostle Tahar and many other uh, uh, other Akim said we don't have to be like uh, like a wage slave or some some to do that effect you know for lack of better terms you can be self sufficient you can be um, uh, and your own boss you can do a lot of things in these days because because you already see that this C-19 is messing up a lot of people's jobs and um, you know, it's causing a lot of stress. But apart from that, you can, you know, Jake is very, uh, um, like how you say that, um, Jake is in, is in, uh, in, 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 how you say that again, I uh, forgot the word, um, just just let me say cre uh, creative we are people that are very creative concerning uh you know getting into into certain things and making it work and how much more if you are in the spirit of yahweh basham yahweh shai you know he can put the spirit upon you to start your business and you know you have brothers selling oils you have brothers that um you know, uh, uh, you know, like myself also, you, you can work for yourself in, in different, uh, like in construction or you, uh, in nowadays, of course, with the personal training is a bit messed up. But you can do a lot of stuff that can make you a little bit extra for the time being. Because, of course, you need to have in the back of your mind as well that we are living in times when these people are pushing towards the mark of the beast and... You already see that if you don't have, uh, you know, with the with the vaccine right now or the vaccine, if you don't take it, they already said like, oh, then you will not be able to work here. There's different companies in the news that just said that out plain, man. But concerning uh, this, if you take advice and you think about certain things, uh, then you can. Get the advice and apply that advice in your life. And through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, you can uh, uh, start something up, man, or make something work. So, uh, w again, uh, without counsel, purposes are disappointed, but in the multitude of counselors, they are established. And you need to think about things before you do it, you know. There's uh, many scriptures about that. Uh, and even uh, in... in, in um, you have in uh, the book of Maccabees, you know, about the master building. You need to sit down first and think what you need. And Yahweh Shai uh, said it as well. We, in, in, in the case when you step into this truth, but he used the allegory of, of a man building a tower. Should you not you know, sit and think about the things that you need? You know? And when you go and do things, you need to keep pushing. Or else, you know, you will be a laughing stock. You know, you will get into a, a messed up situation. So, same thing you can apply with, you know, finding a new job. And uh, you need to make priorities, man. Because all the brother in the camp always stresses uh, the point of um, um, having your house in order. Concerning, uh, you know, if you live by yourself and your house is a mess, that messes with your mind as well. Your your brain is just scanning everything. You know, you're looking at things, and your brain is like uh, having to um, register all the things and 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 process all the things that are around you, and that makes your mind all cluttered up, man. You know, certain brothers that they they like the minimalistic lifestyle, 
you know, um, that is also something that creates rest in your mind for some people, you know. But for me myself, I like things to be ordered, uh, to be in, in, in its place, you know, and that causes me to have more rest for the reason that I just, uh, you know, uh, that I just stated. But, and it can make you, uh, you know, if you go into the scriptures, you don't have all these things on your mind, the same things with, um, you know, if you have to call up, uh, if you have depths and you have to call up uh, these devils, you know, to, uh, to make uh, basically uh, um, uh, to set up a monthly payment and, and stuff like that, you know, you need to just get over that that um, that basically that that um, blockage, that thing that is that is blocking you from from calling them. Just step over it, man. Pray to handle your business and do every, everything decently and in order, like the scriptures say, man, so that you can. Pay attention to the scriptures and in, in, in the in the things uh, that you really need to be doing, you know, instead of letting it stack up. But let me just uh, go on because I don't want to make it too long. I had a few scriptures lined up. So um, if you go into the word council, it goes into um, yeah, council assembly, council of familiar conversation. And if you go into, you know, if you check the word familiar, it goes, you see the word family, basically, in, in, in it, man. Let me just look it up in the, and it says, I uh, already had this. I wanted to go to, well, let me just read this as well, because I already had it uh, set up. But I wanted to go to the etymology as well. And it means, in the Dutch, it means uh, basically vertrouwd, that is uh, trusting or reliable, safe, confidential. And... Here it goes into um, intimate, secret, familiar, confident. And you see here that if you take a look at, uh, yes, yeah, so it goes into, um, again, this, the things that I stated. But if you go to um, a brother and you, you have the conversation with your, uh, with your brother because you don't have to, Tell tell everyone your 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 personal stuff, or you don't feel comfortable doing that. So you can go to a certain brother and that's in your area, or that you feel uh, uh, you know um, safe with, and that you have you know the, you can gather the confidence to, to speak with him, so you can get out of a jam. But also while doing that, accept the advice that you uh, you will get. You know, meditate upon it and see what you can do with that advice because it's very important to do that, man. You can't just be uh, um, thinking like, let me see. Oh, no, I already know. Yeah, I'm already doing that. Uh, you know, take advice, man. Take the advice. Let me see. Familiar. You see, it goes to family. Fam uh, familiar, intimate, very friendly, and a fr friendly arc. A brother goes to friend on a family uh, footing, and uh, you see related. Ain't we, ain't we brothers in in, in Yahweh Bashem Yahusha? Ain't we related? Ain't we Israel? We are. You know, you see of, uh, and it goes into domestic, private, belonging to a family of a household. You see, familiar, intimate. So, talk to your family. Talk to your brothers, man. And you are to the Spirit. The Heavenly Father will come with the solution. Because that brother might have went through the same thing that you are now struggling with. And went through it and has the answer right there. But on the other side, you need to be able to accept that answer. And don't be stubborn. And be be going on on your own way. You already are in a jam. That's for a reason, because you did it your way already. So now, when you step to someone, take that advice, and move with that advice, and and put it into your life. It might not be easy, but you had a quote. What was it? Um, Had a quote. Uh, 
don't know if it was this. Let me look it up. God, this is what I wanted. Um, this is um, a quote of uh, Denzel Washington. To get something you you never had, you have to do something you never did. You know, taking risks uh, is scary, but the payoff can be worth all the fear. You know, and to the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, you need to take that leap of faith, man. You need to just just go and do it, and trust that the heavenly Father will get you in uh, in the situation where you that is better than before. Because the Most High, uh, ten and thirteen, the Most High always will find a way for you to get out of your uh, the, your your situation. 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. They had no temptation taken you, but such is common to man. But Yahweh is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. So the Most High, He will not let you suffer uh, in, in things that you are not able to, uh, to, to bear, man. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape that He may be able to bear it. So He will find a way for you so that you can get out of it. But you still have to be getting up and moving, man. You still have to get up and move, man. You can't be sitting uh, on your ass and thinking like, oh, the most is going to do it for me. He's going to send you help through a brother or put the spirit of someone to, to help you out, man. Because if a man's ways please the Lord, he make it even his enemies to be at peace with him. If, if you uh, step into uh, like an agency, you need a job and... You know, you have that anxiety because yeah, you need to go to these devils, you know, it's messed up. But be confident, man. Just step in there, pray that the most high you know can 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 guide the conversation. And you will be amazed, man, with, with what the most high can set up for you, man. Because I've been through that. You know, and <laughs> if I look back, the most high gave me more than I than I than I even uh, thought of, man. So, but still, you have to go. That's the way of Israel, man. Like in Second Ezra seven, um, around verse nine and ten, you know, we have to go through these uh, straight and vain things. This is the way of Israel, man. We have to go to this to this hell hole, man. And don't forget, this place is not our rest. You know, we are subject unto payment, as the Book of Baruch says, because of the sins, you know, that we've committed, man. So we're under this devil. He's the head. We're the tail right now. It's messed up. But he's landing unto us and we're working uh, 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 you know, under this devil because we went against the Heavenly Father. So we need, this is part of our punishment. We need to just uh, ride it out, man. But while we are doing it, it's no, uh, you know, we, we just have to have faith, man. You know, don't be uh, all messed up. Be a man and deal with your uh, the, with the things that you need to deal with, man. And uh, I had a few things. Uh... So, if you take counsel, and you know, with, of a brother, and you sit down and and, and think, hey, you might uh, be able to do this, or you can start this up, or you know, if, especially if a brother is experienced in the thing that he is uh, advising you, take that advice, and especially if it's coming from multiple brothers, they already know that the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai is 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 uh, revealing that unto you, man. You know, so if you don't uh, listen to that, uh, you want to do your own uh, own thing. So without counsel, purposes are disappointed. You know, and if it's disappointed, it won't come to fruition. It will be frustrated. So make ineffectual, because you've been uh, doing it, uh, uh, you know, in your in your own way, and it, and it don't work. But in the multitude of counselors, yeah, you, you hook up with Achyon, man. They are established. It, it, you know, it, and you see here, become powerful, come of the uh, what is it? to be confirmed 
to be fixed, to be set, be fixed, you know, to make binding, you know, to carry out, give effect to, then things will start to happen, man. And it gets here, it gets into help. Help to lift up again, true conversation. You can get back on your feet and, you know, get that job or get that situation fixed. Get your car fixed, you know, and, you know get all the things uh, up and running again. So you can focus back on the things that we need to focus on. And that's Yahweh Basham Yahushai, you know, working out on salvation, man. You know, pushing the word. So it's a very important thing. Verse, uh, Proverbs 15, verse, um, I wanted to jump down to verse um, 31. The ear that heareth the reproof of life abided among the wise. He that refuseth instruction despiseth his own soul. But he that heareth reproof geteth understanding. You know, in a spiritual sense, first and foremost, if you hear the reproof through the word of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, and you, you, you take this advice and you put it in your life, of course it might hurt, it will hurt, <laughs> you know. Because the flesh is, is, a, is a, hey man, the flesh is messed up, man. But if you take this advice, you take the reproof, you meditate upon it, that's a why you're going to dwell among the wise, man. Because a wise man take it advice. And if you don't, it's basically a foolish thing, man. You, that's also a sinful man finding an, an excuse to do it yeah, right here, man. This is Sirach uh, 32, verse, uh, let me start at uh, verse uh, 17. A sinful man will not be reproved, but find it an excuse according to his will. So a sinful man will be like, yeah, hell no, I don't want to listen to that. I want to do my own thing. Because, you know, what happened was uh, this and that and that. And uh, no, it's not that bad, you know. He's going to find an excuse to do his own will while he was already in the jam, while he was already going off. But if you jump back to these, these uh, things that we you know uh, uh, concerning jobs and other stuff, you know, take the advice, man, so that you can be fixed up like I've just uh, read in the, in the blue letter, you know. But um, I have another thing. Uh, where was it? Yeah, just let me continue on this. Because uh, basically the point in there was made. In the book of Sirach, uh, verse, Proverbs 15 and uh, 32. He that refuseth instruction des despises his own soul, but he that heareth reproof get it understanding. You know, and through the brothers, you can get into a situation where you can get out of your uh, messed up, uh, um, you know, uh, situation, basically, and get back on your feet. So um, don't be in this spirit in verse 13. The slothful man say it, there's a lion without. I shall be slain in the streets. Because that's the spirit that you shouldn't be having. Like, oh, man, I don't know, man, it's, it's hard. And, you know, don't be like that, man. Pray to uh, get strengthened. And that the Heavenly Father will guide you, man. Don't be in the spirit of uh, everything is messed up. Because then you will stay in that situation. Why prolong that situation of misery? That's what the devil wants, you know? And also, if you have uh, debts to pay, just call them up, man. Don't let... Of course, Esau setting up these things to be very grievous. Because he wants you to, to stay in debt. But if you call him... And you, you, you don't also, if you have uh, like a uh, little money to uh, that you can miss, don't set up an amount to pay and end up with an empty fridge and uh, or, or debts in another place because you have to pay your other bills as well. Just set up a certain amount and say like, yeah, you know, for now I, I can miss this, but when I'm like in a better case and more, more, uh, more work, more days to work, then I can uh, 
pay a little bit extra so we can get i want to get this thing uh you know off uh, of my back and you know i just want to pay right now so i i can you know get rid of this debt and that's also you know if you you know we jake you should, you should plan you know you can have your client they can have their money so you can have your money and we can get out of this situation you know just just think of uh, about something that you uh, can say pray and you know get yourself out of that situation man and it will feel like like hey the, the scriptures say render unto caesar you wish i said it man Matthew 22 verse uh, 21 let me get a little bit extra Oh, let me just get to the point. Uh, Matthew 22, verse 21. They say unto him, Caesar's. Because, yeah, I can get more in this, man. This is um, Matthew 22, verse 17. Tell us, therefore, what thing is thou? Is it lawful to give tribute unto Caesar or not? But Yahweh Shai perceived their wickedness. Because, you know, they always trying to trick up, uh, trip up uh, Yahweh Shai, man. And said... Why tempt ye me, ye hypocrites? Show me the tribute money. And they brought unto him a penny. And, and he said unto them, Who, Whose is this image and superscription? And they, they said unto him, Caesar's. Then said he unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and unto Yahweh the things that are of Yahweh, that are Yahweh's. You know, so... These devils, their faces on the money. If they need to have a certain amount of money, give it them, man. Because we don't forget, we are under these devils right now. So, if we have to pay tribute, that's what you do when you are under someone's rulership. And this is for our punishment again. So, give them their money. And if you have debts, give them what they need, man. And don't make it any worse. Because the scriptures also said in uh, Proverbs 22, verse um, 26, Be not thou one of them that strike hands, or of them that are sureties for depths. You know? And if you go into the word sureties, it goes into pledge as well. Because if you read it up here, surety, a guarantee, a promise, pledge, an assurance. And if you go down, surety, property that your creditor can claim in case you, uh, you default in your obligation. A prisoner who is held by one party to ensure that one party will meet specific terms. And if you go to the other word, because pledge is also in there. If you go to the blue letter Bible, to the word surety, it goes into, let me see, a pledge to pledge, give pledges, you know, to selectively read. So, if you go to that word in the in the blue letter, it goes into pledge, surety, bill. And let me see, uh, where was it? Um, guarantee. And here also a personal property given as surety for a debt or uh, or engagement. And if you go down, where was it? Because I was looking up certain things to be responsible for under oath. Or else I'm going to jump to the other one because that is a little bit less uh, to read through. I had it. Where was it? Yeah, and it goes into this um, old high German uh, flagon. To care for, be accustomed to old English pleon to risk the loss of, exposed to danger. So 
to risk the loss of what? If you give something that you have debt and you don't pay up, you're risking to lose something. And in this case, you're risking to lose your bed, your house. If you go to this to pledge oneself to, and it goes in uh, when someone makes a pledge, they make a serious promise, they will do something. And if you jump down, if you pledge a sum of money to an organization or activity, you promise to pay that amount of money to, to it at a particular time over a particular period. So that's something that you are doing. And here it goes into what I was uh, reading. So that's what uh, what it is, uh, what it means. Uh, let me go to the other one. So where depths, you know, goes into loan. You know, depth is, it speaks for itself. If I'm correct, this is the uh, you're lending on interest, usury, and that's also a thing, man. Because if you go to the bank, you you, you lend, uh, you, you take a loan and you, and you mess it up, it's going to be a hell of a usury on that, man. Usury is um, like interest. Because that's how uh, how this devil is uh, rolling. Uh, and of course, back in the days, it was uh, also, it's not for nothing in uh, that it is uh, stated in the scriptures. But if you have nothing, you're going you're gonna to get money out of the bank and you get yourself in, in trouble. You're going to be in deeper debt than you were before, man. So if you do get a loan, invest it in something that can make you money. If you need something to like like tools to get to get you a better job or a car, get it. But be wise, man. Don't ball out, but get you the things that you need. Tools is always good to invest in good tools. But get you the things that you need so you can, you know, you need to invest. That's why you, you, you go to the bank. It's better not to do it. But if you do it, do it in a wise way, man, in a wise manner. And not for uh, for for BS, man. Clothing and all types of things uh, that you uh, really not need. So, if thou hast nothing to pay, in verse 27, if thou hast nothing to pay, why should he take away thy bed from under thee? You know, so, it's better to be in a, in a situation that you are paying your bills and... If you go to the word nothing, it goes into the word shalom, which means peace. If you have nothing to pay, you you don't have that stress to be sound, be uninjured. You know? It goes into make amends. Restore, surely. So if you just pay your things... You have a peace of mind. You know, so why should uh, should you be in a situation where these people can come up and uh, take your stuff? If you just pay your bills, you don't have to worry about them taking your stuff. You know, you take away to, to take fetch, you know, to seize. Taking away, be removed. So... That's something that you need to keep in mind, man. Because it's better to pay. Just render unto Caesar that which is Caesar's, man. You feel better. It's also part of what we need to be doing. And you will have more rest. You have peace of, uh, you know, peace of mind. You know, for as much that is as that is possible in this uh, wicked uh, rulership. Um, and I have another uh, thing that I wanted to go into. Um... What well, was it uh, for? Yep, Tobit 4 and 18. Ask counsel of all that are wise and despise not any counsel that is profitable. So despise not, uh, of course, the, the the counsel that you need to be getting is through the spirit of Yahweh by Shalom Yoshai, by the apostles and elders. And also, if a brother has, uh, you know, if you, like I've read in the beginning, if you come together with a, with a brother and he gives you uh, that, that advice, you know, take it, man. 
especially if it's profitable, because that's why you get advice. It is profitable, you know? And don't shun it, man. And don't, if you are in a bad situation, you know, you, you lost your job, get back at it, man. You will get a better job than before. But don't be on your bed feeling sorry for yourself. And, uh, you know, because you might hide certain things. Oh, I'm going to do it later. Or you don't, you, you're you going to do things that are getting your mind off of the, 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 the shit that, you, that you're in. But it keeps stacking up. Esau is stacking that shit up. You know, that usury is going to keep on ticking, basically, man. It's going to keep on adding uh, unto the amount that you already are in debt for. You know, so you need to be in the spirit of just getting things done. Proverbs 26, verse 14, as the door turneth upon his hinges, so doeth the, do, do the slothful upon his bed. You know, don't be in your bed until the, in the late, in the, in, the, in the afternoon, while you can get up and, and, and get things done. Pick up the phone, write an email, you know, get over that spirit of, uh, oh, man, I'm going to do it later. Stop procrastinating, man. So let me jump into that. And it's the door turned upon his hinges. You know, like it's going open back and forth. So do it, the slothful upon his bed. And you know, rolling around, you know, ah, left, right, you know. That's all you're doing. You're staying in one place. And don't be procrastinating in that. Let me go to the meaning delay or postpone uh delay or postpone action put off doing something because that is how you will stay in that situation you know and of course brothers uh we we, we can help each other you know let me get to a few scriptures concerning that because for the lack of let me see so didn't even want to make it this long because i had a few scriptures here um Ecclesiastes 4 verse 9 two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor for if they fall the one will lift up his fellow but woe to him that is alone when he falleth for he had no had not another to help him up so we need to help each other and this is the scripture that you already see that you, you shouldn't be doing things by yourself because if you fall and you know you have no one there around then you're in, 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 in great danger, man. But if you, uh, let me see, uh, if I jump down to Philippians 2 verse uh, 4, look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. You know, we need to take, uh, take a look at, you know, our lives and how was it when we needed help? You know, we all went into a situation where we needed help. The same thing is in the, in, in the truth, man. Brothers need help from time to time. And if you give alms, that's something that is uh, very, um, you know, it, it is something that is highly esteemed in the eyes of the Heavenly Father, man. You know? And y'all just want to make a video about that as well. But uh, let me continue this, uh, Galatians 6 and 2. Bear ye one another's burdens. And so fulfill the law of Yahweh Shai Masiach. So fulfill the law of the Heavenly Father, His Son. Because He said, love your neighbor, right? And if you love your neighbor, you will help your neighbor. But again, don't forget to communicate, man. Because communication is very important. Because if you have a certain situation going on and you don't say something, then it gets worse and worse and worse. While if you, from the jump, say something like, hey, I'm a bit of an, in a jam, hey, can you uh, fix me up with this and that? Then, then it is fixed right there. But if you let it go to a situation wherein you might you know, lose more than you want or come into a situation where you have to sell your car or sell certain things, or even have to move out. Then it's already too late. Talk with brothers. Brothers can help you. 
And yeah, I'm gonna have to go through the scripture, man. Um Tobit 4 and 16, give thy bread. Give thy bread to the hung to the hungry, and all thy garments to them that are naked. And according to thine abundance, give alms. And also in the spiritual sense, you know, that bread, the scriptures, give it to the to the hungry, the ones that are are willing to uh, to listen and that are uh, hungry for knowledge, and of thy garments to them that are naked. You know, clothe them with the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. You know, with the Yahweh Tazah, we will be in white garments, man, which represents the truth. But also, you can help. You can look at this in, in the carnal sense and help out your neighbors, man. If he needs money to pay his bills or, or for some food, or or he needs uh, new clothes or whatever, who come up? And according to thine abundance, give alms. So you need to take a look at what you have. And according to that, you can help. And let not thine eye be envious when thou givest alms. You shouldn't be like, hey, man, I really wanted to keep that. You know? That's because that's wicked, man. Pour out thy bread. Uh, yeah, no, this is basically it. But here you have also... Um, So with four verse, uh, let me see. There's a lot that you can read in here, man. Verse seven: Give alms of thy substance, and when thou givest alms, let not thy eye be envious, for neither turn thy face from any poor, and the face of Yahweh shall not be turned away from thee, because you also need help of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. And if you help uh, your neighbor, you help Yahweh Shai, man. Because if you didn't do it, you didn't do it unto Yahweh Shai. If thou hast abundance, give alms accordingly. If thou hast uh, have uh, if thou have but a little, be not afraid to give according to that little. Because that goes into the story where the woman gave like uh, what was it, a penny or a farthing. And the rich man, he had, he had many shekels, and he he gave uh, like a little. And uh, concerning, uh, what was it? Um, he gave like, he had, basically, if a mil millionaire gives a thousand euros or a hundred euros, and a poor uh, woman gives like five cents, and that's all she had, who gave more? If you take a look at the percentage, is that uh, a poor woman. And that's more of this highly esteemed of the Heavenly Father because. That is something that that is uh, uh, showing you. Okay, that's that was in that case showing uh, the faith of the woman and also the generosity, of course, of that woman and the greediness of that man. But with these uh, in in depth, think about what you can miss because if you give away all your money and um, you need to pay your bill on the, the next uh, day or the day. Uh, you can be in 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 in, uh, in trouble. So there's a balance to everything, you know. But um, because if I go here, verse uh, nine: For thou layest up a good treasure for thyself against the day of necessity. The Most High going going uh, going to help you out, man. If you help others, especially your neighbors. Because that alms do deliver from death and suffer not to come into darkness. For alms is a good gift unto all that give it in the sight of the Most High. It's a beautiful thing in the in the sight of the Most High, man. And the scriptures, let me end it with this. Um, Sirach 29 verse 1. If I'm correct, it was there. And... I need to get another app, man. Keep saying this, but I like the app, but I hate the commercials, man. So lucky like for that. I don't understand this. You can put the things on on uh, on mute. No people need to make their money or whatever, but still, man. But uh, to go back, uh, Sirach twenty nine verse one: He that is merciful will lend unto his neighbor. And he that strengthened his hand keepeth the commandments. So by lending unto your neighbor, 
or helping helping him out, out by giving alms, you can you keeping the commandments. Yahweh Shai said it. You know, love thy neighbor as thyself. If you love your neighbor, you will help him out. You will not commit adultery. You will give him the drink when he needs drink, something to drink. You know, because if you don't do it, you you have again you haven't done it uh, unto uh, Yahweh Shai because Yahweh Shai. He uh, gave that example to help your neighbors, to love Yahweh with all your heart, and to love your neighbor as the as the self. Uh, let me see. Um, Lend to your neighbor in time of his need, and pay thou thy neighbor again in due season. This is a flip side as well, man. Because if he lends to you, you need to pay back as well. Because some brothers, they are in a jam themselves, so they can help you out for that uh, time, but they need it back to, to, you know, to pay their own bills. Keep thy word and deal faithfully with him, and thou shalt always find this, the, the thing that is necessary for thee. So basically, let me end it with this, because I can get into a whole other, uh, whole, whole other uh, video concerning um, the, 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 the things in a negative sense when someone lends you money and you know he doesn't pay you back that's something else but yeah man i just wanted to say this and um yara Tazar is going to be of help this is a bit long but yara Tazar, you know is going to be helpful so with that i would like to say shalom